my friends and welcome back to The Witcher 3. In yesterday's video, we made our way to Novigrad, the big city, <laughs> and ran into the Eternal Fire already. And now we're currently outside Triss's ransacked house, defaced house, and we, we still need to find our girl Triss. So that's what we're gonna work on today and <laughs> go from there. So our objectives is to R2, R2, look for thieves on the main square and carefully follow them and then talk with, and then maybe also talk with beggars about the king of beggars. So I have looted a little bit more, double checked everything. So let's go ahead and get started. Cutscene already. Oh, deepest apologies, Governor. Fetch some metal, you wretch. <sighs> I've been robbed! Thief! Well, well, another freak. <laughs> well, that was rather quick. Um, I've lost him already, though, so... Not, not sure what to do about that. What next? Do you think you know what you can buy today? Um, okay, so... And how? Lots of glasses from the lands already taken by Nilfgaard. I, uh, must need someone to show them around now, Degrad. You read my mind. Uh, no. Let's see. Who's over here? Townsman. 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 I know, I'm trying to look for beggars and thieves. I'll go to you. Hum, did I mess this up already? Real fire? Not all. It is too. And just smear ash. The thinking customer will see right here. Alright, here we go. Here's somebody. Merchant. Well then here's a beggar. Here we go. Aid a veteran of the struggle against the black once. Where do you fight? Angrin early on. In Sidaris last along the banks of the Pontar. So, help me out? Um, sure, and then you'll help me. Here. Now you help me. Gotta find the back alley locals call the Putrid Grove. It's important. Don't know naught about no grove, putrid or other. Don't generally care much for orchardry. Uh, this is urgent. Leave me be, I don't know. Well, that was useless. Crikey. Okay. Poor out. Let's try to find a thief again. I. Hmm. <laughs> this is gonna be tricky. All right, here's another beggar. Let's try this one. Take pity on me, misery, good folk, and aid a man crippled by misfortune. Where it is, nothing's free in Novigrad. <laughs> oh, none of them come bursting with questions. Now, where do you folk gain the idea we beggars know everything? I need to see this, and I need to find that one who robbed me, brother. Fuck if I know. Well, I'm looking for the Putrid Grove. There's this place in Novigrad they call the Putrid Grove. Aye, oh, it's about right. Well, Novigrad's full of nooks and crannies with odd names. Looking to sightsee by a bloody map. Heard men like you frequent this alley. And I've heard they fed you all shit and you smiled and ate it. <laughs> now. Don't make no offense. Go in peace. Well, this is getting me nowhere rather quickly. <laughs> Let's try this beggar now. Muglock, look kindly on a wretched soul. Aid one who laughs or nourishment three days past. All right, give you a crown. Crown's enough, my lord. When your gut's so empty, it's stuck flat to your spine. Could give you more on one condition. You tell me where you drop your takings for the day. I'd drop them with me lady. Serious trouble if I didn't. Um, does she live in the Putrid Glo Grove? I think you take them to the Putrid Grove. Far as I'm concerned, the King of Beggars can stick his crown up his arse, then shove it even deeper with his scepter. Bugger won't get a broken copper from me. You're either pretty damn brave or just plain stupid. What's he gonna do? Break me legs? Let him. Me takings double as a cripple. Uh from what I hear, they'd break your legs just to start. Some coin for me future widow, then? Um, sure, I'll pay. I, I need information. <laughs> there. Now tell me where the Putrid Grove is. It's the least you could do. I don't know. And believe you me, I Ugh. don't want to know. 
Go to protect. Everyone is like, nobody knows any information. <laughs> this is frustrating. All right, let's look for another beggar or a thief. Got my eye on you. Oi, Grey Knight. Need a squire. All right, let's try this beggar. Arms for the poor. You lame. No chance. Both legs in perfect order. And me arms look like a windmill's wings. <laughs> there. See me waving them? Looky here. Just look. In my mind, thorough addled. <laughs> Been addled long, your mind? Been like this long. Addled. Since me mother birthed me. Here's where it's addled. There. Showing you with me finger. See that? Me indicating. Well, I need to find the putrid grove. I gotta find the place they call the putrid grove. I know it but won't say. I know it but won't say. Why not? Not allowed to say. I would tell you though, if you didn't push, weren't so insistent. If you like, come again. Might tell you then. Guess your mind truly is addled. Didn't I say so? So, how... Let's try it again then. Oh, it's you again. Another chat, same as the first. My mind's thorough addled. But the rest of me spit as a fiddle. I'm still looking for the putrid grove. So, like I said, I'm looking for the putrid grove. Second time round, you wish is my command. It's that away. There. That away. Meaning where? In lace halls. There's this alley, past the gate. Not at all putrid and not a grove. Fools call it that, but I know better. And anyone can go there? Of course. Unless he forgets to say, the old sow's farrowed piglets might not let you in then, but that's easy enough to say. Listen, the old sow's <laughs> farrowed piglets. See? Yeah. Thanks for your help. Yay, we finally figured it out. <laughs> enough beggars scamming me out of my money. <laughs> All right, so we need to find the king of beggars hideout, which is w where? Okay, not that far away. We can take in more of the Novigrad sites. Look, different kinds of houses, and there's rivers in Novigrad, sort of, and and bridges and all sorts of. Oh, I love this place. <laughs> Excuse me, sorry, shady individual. Temple guard, let even you. I mean, it just looks like houses built on top of houses, like it would be, right? Okay, so this is where we need to go, it looks like. Let's quick save. And go in here. Open up. Who are you and what you want? Um, hmm, what do you have back there? Let's try that. Doing some sightseeing. Kind of curious about what's beyond this gate. <laughs> My brother-in-law was curious. Worms been eating him for five years now. <laughs> well, can't you tell? I'm a freak. Take a look. What do you see? Yellow eyes. Pair of swords. Mutated kill at me feet. Heard this place was a meeting spot for oddities. Heard right. Now the password, get him free. Don't know it. Got to contribute to the Graves up key. Hmm. Old sow's pharaohed piglets. Old sow's pharaohed piglets. Ah. Welcome to the Grove, brother. <laughs> he seems so disappointed he can't take more of my money. Hmm. Hires and Nebograds updated, but I'm not tracking it anymore. There we go. Meet with the King of Beggars. Well, there's a mage just puking over there. That's lovely. A sorceress. Why are they all sick? King of Beggars henchmen? What ails you? Uh-huh. Him as well. God. A reaper's company. The right miracle you've worked, I'd like to repay you. Convince those knaves on the city Eight council the that spells are not needed on a whim, but positively just indispensable. The they they won't listen, my lord. They're scared of anger. In that case, please convey that if any of them should fall ill, he can stick his head in the flames of the eternal fire. 
I mean, let me need some rest. <laughs> Fair enough. Be strong together. That's funny. <laughs> Stick his head in the eternal fire. All right, it looks like this is where we need. What I found? That's a pretty necklace. Where'd you get it? it? Was lying in the street, so I took it. You look me straight in the eyes and lie, just like your pa. <laughs> You're a good lad. Now go play. Mummy's got to get some sleep before she goes to work. And what is your mummy's is trumpet? Lovely. Okay, well let's save and go talk to this king of beggars. How are things? Good. More and more people come to our secret clinics looking for help. Manga's hands not scaring them off anymore. I guess incurable disease is more terrifying than torture. <laughs> in that case, I'll count on more tribute coming in. You already take 80% of what we receive. All right, but don't forget it's me who secures the nooks and crannies where you and yours can hide. It's Triss. It's our girl Triss. We found her. It's about time we made something clear, sorceress. Yes, high time. Me and my men will manage just fine without the help of you or any other mages. But you, well, without our help, you're sitting ducks for the temple guard. Who do I spy? Geralt? Hey, Triss. See you two know each other. See you two know each other well. I was curious whether you managed to find me, Witcher. Um, let's see. Knew I was looking for you. Got something to take up with me. Um, let's go with the first one. Your spies tell you I was looking for the Putrid Grove? My skull would be a home for bottom-feeding river fish if I didn't keep an ear to the ground. And please, Putrid Grove? Ugly name for our cozy little hideout, <laughs> wouldn't you say? Yes. Well, let's have a moment where Triss's model, wow, she's so pretty. She, it's like, she's always been pretty, but wow, she's really pretty. Like, I like the upgrades. It's not too terribly much, but I liked her other outfit in Witcher 2 better. But anyway, uh, temple guards ever bother you, so what would you call this place? Well, let's go with that one. <laughs> so what would you call this dive? Dunno. The Garden of Liberty, maybe? <laughs> for a man who shakes down beggars and thieves for tribute, you're quite the romantic. You say tribute, I say taxes. You say thieves, I say hard-working street clerks. See, Witcher, I've got plans, big plans, far-reaching plans to reshape this city head to toe. Ever thought of seeking a seat on the city council? City council is a puppet troop with a hierarchy of the Church of the Eternal Fire as its puppeteer. Until recently, that is, when Radovid and his witch hunters took the reins. The semblance of power don't interest me. Hmm. So what do you want then? A man with a vision. One day, the so-called free city of Novigrad will be truly free. But before that can happen, we got a rid it of superstition. Farting around about the hallowed essence of the eternal fire. Nonsense for kiddies. Apparently not. Cheering crowd at the execution. Mostly adults. Yeah. Any crowd a rabble will cheer to the stench of burning flesh. But well, one day, folk will understand the eternal fire's naught but a leash around their necks. They call this place the Putrid Grove. But it's the rest of Novigrad that's putrefied. This year's the last bastion of normality, sanity, reason. I'm actually glad someone like you's found his way to our city. Because it will be our city one day, Geralt. Mark my words. Yours, plural. Yeah, mine. And me friends. But that's a tale for another time. For now, I'll leave you two alone. Because I can see, well, you clearly need it. <laughs> Gerald, I have a lot of things to take care of in town. I'll be glad to tag along. Huh. What's your arrangement? He using you? Helping me to survive, actually. 
Six months ago, if somebody said Triss Marigold would be working for a Novigrad criminal, I'd never have believed it. Six months ago, Triss Marigold parted with someone very dear to her and had to start a new. Hasn't turned out like I imagined. Come on, let me give you a taste of my life. And before we go on, did it ever say why Triss and Geralt went their separate ways? Because we left the, I forget the name of the city, but the, at the end of Witcher 2, we left together with, uh, what's his name? The Squatel guy, whose, again, name I'm forgetting because I'm really good at names, obviously. But, like, why did she leave? I mean, I, Geralt had his memory back, but I'm not, I'm not really clear. I can't remember. So I, I'm clearly missing something. We'll come back to Francis in a second. Let's do Triss's update before I forget. And again, sorry if there's a bunch of banging in the background, but... They're literally drilling into the side of houses right now in my neighborhood. So <laughs> anyway, uh, it seemed Triss had gone into hiding from the so-called witch hunters persecuting magic wielders in the city, turning to one of the leaders of the local underworld for protection. After a bit of a runaround, Geralt found the sorceress who had indeed entered into an arrangement with the so-called King of Beggars. She paid for his protection by providing magic services to his organization. Though Triss did not know anything about Ciri and her stay in Novigrad, she promised to do all, all within her power to aid Geralt's search. Well, I don't think we've gotten that far, but I imagine she would anyway. So, Francis Bedlam, the King of Beggars. Very interesting character. You know, definitely kind of like, I don't want to say gangster, but like 80% of somebody's profits. That's, that's, that's a little bit hefty of a tax. But is his vision for the future a vision of Novigrad being run by criminals or... I don't know. I'm I'm interested to see where he goes as a character. Anyway, let's read his entry. The free city of Novigrad had known no king's rule for nearly 200 years. Francis Bedlam surely had this fact in mind when he anointed himself the King of Beggars, a title that mocked the pomposity of crowned heads with while simultaneously stealing a bit of said pomp for itself. Bedlam was a pragmatic man, a trait of great use to a great use in his profession, which involved managing a network of thieves, beggars, tramps, and street urchins that trickled through every part of the city. His contacts provided him with the freshest gossip and tastiest morsels of information, and the cut he took of his subjects earned earnings guaranteed a sizable income for the maintenance of his court in the future grove. Francis despised fanaticism and prejudice in equal measure, which is good, which meant that mages fleeing the witch, witch hunters' pincers often turned to him for protection and and protection does cost lots of money and perhaps he redistributes the wealth to help people i don't i don't know i don't want to think too good of him right now i mean but we'll see how it goes all right let's follow tris let's save after all that but yeah i don't know what it is madam sorceress beautiful as ever damn shame to part don't fret Bound to be back soon. <laughs> I take it you're in Novigrad on important business. Important doesn't do it justice. I'm looking for someone. More precisely? Young woman who's like a daughter to me. Her? Here? No, impossible. She was here. There are witnesses, evidence. Was hoping you'd heard something. You've been here a while. I need you to help me find something, anything, a trace. I'll do everything I can, of course. Who might know more? I don't know. That's why I'm asking you. <laughs> but yeah, I know I gushed about it a little bit already, but her model, I don't know what it is. It was just really pretty. Like, really like, wow, you're, you know, you see someone and you're just like, wow, they're really pretty. Yeah. <laughs> I think there were freckles, but we'll we'll have to see on the next close-up cutscene. Without her hood on. Come on. Okay. Where are we at now? Hello, Klug. Managed to get those magic incense ingredients? Yes. <laughs> somewhat with uh, difficulties, you might say. I was walking along the canal with a sack full of goodies for you. Looked up and spied a trio of temple guards coming the other way. Get to the point, Klug. No time today for one of your long stories. <laughs> Wait! A sack full of magicalities and they were coming straight towards me. I don't easily frighten, but uh, I felt a cold sweat on my arse, I did. 
I'm afraid I had no choice. I dropped the sack in the water. I had to. When asked why, I claimed it contained a dead cat. You shan't believe this, but they believe me. I need that package, Klug. I've got a contract. It must be on the canal bed. Luckily, it was heavy enough to sink. I'm sure it'll turn up if you search. You expect me to pay you, then die for my goods into that ice-cold filth? Hmm. Gotta be prepared to make sacrifices. Yeah, Tris, don't be so prissy. <laughs> I'll go get it. Geralt's a, Geralt's, Geralt likes her, so yeah, why not? <laughs> I can do that. Where'd you toss the package? Near the crane. Second bridge in from the harbor. I didn't expect such devotion. Wanted to freshen up anyway. Let's go. Stop. Hear that? They've come for us. The fool didn't break until I began to prick his heels. Every man's got his sensitive spots. Interrogated a mage once. Pain couldn't touch him. Tore off his fingernails, crushed his bollocks. Nothing. Turned out, he was devilishly ticklish. I placed a beetle on his belly and set a mug atop it. Damn near went mad. We were lucky this time, but... You'd best leave via the sewers. The trapdoor's in the floor. Take care of yourself, Klug. Hmm. What stuff is she getting from this guy? Okay, hang on, let's save and can I can I loot the place? We were lucky this time, but you'd best leave via the sewers. Can the I trap doors in the floor? Can I talk to Triss? Well. Well. Um Oh wow, there's the trap door. Let me let me loot the place real quick. All right, I went all upstairs to all three levels and looted a bunch of books, but I think only one of them is actually new, and it's called Pearls of the North Oxenford. Oxenford, a gem snuggling into the bosom of the Pontar to the east of Novigrad, a cradle erected upon Redanian soil, nurturing the greatest minds, not only of that kingdom, but of all the north. To walk its hallowed academy's halls is to embark on a journey through learning, from the finest points of philosophy to the grandest strokes of art, with stops made to admire architecture and dissect medicine along the way. Peer to either side and you will spy fellow travelers in your pilgrimage of learning, the student, they throng Oxenford's streets, lending it an Im indelible imprint of youth that can be felt fr felt the moment you pass through its gates. <laughs> Dormitories stand cheek by jowl, booksellers hawk used tomes on every corner, and under every tree fresh faces debate poetry with passion. I That wasn't quite the Oxenford I saw, but okay. Yet youth is not all slate and compass, and the young here shirk none of its other typical pastimes. Rockus and Mary are the city streets, both by day and even more so by night. Though the city council counselors have forbidden the sale of alcohol after dusk. Really? <laughs> no one seems eager to enforce this with stricture. And wisely so, for any loss of sleep is more than made up for by the gains. Profits to fatten its innkeeper's pockets and the late night crooning of troubadours to enrich its souls. As for its architecture, of particular note are the recently renovated elven aqueducts used to clean the city's sewers. They stand as witness to the city's innovative spirit. You will not find their like in all civilized worlds. I wonder if I'm going to go in those aqueducts when I go monster hunting there, because I had a few uh, contracts there still, right? So anyway, yet dominating the town's architecture visage, or visage like a glistening crown is the complex of buildings that comprises the Oxifer Academy. For you today, remember that these edifices constructed by the elves predate the city itself. It is the institution that named the city and not vice versa. Today, Oxifer Academy enjoys a reputation matched only by the Imperial Academy in, in Nilfgaard, of greatest renown, the departments of alchemy, natural history, minstrelry and poetry, medicine and herbology, engineering, and last but certainly not least, philosophy. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Anyway, let's enter the basement. That's the only thing I haven't clicked on. And down we shall go. Find the secret passage using your witcher senses. Well, let's... Let's loot while we wait for Triss to come join us. Oh, gosh. Oh, 
There's a draft. Should be an exit here. Clint okay. wouldn't have sent us here if there wasn't. Must be a lever on this wall with a open secret passage. There is superior vampire oil. Ooh. Let me let me just finish picking up some stuff, Tris, and then we can go. Okay. All right. There is a button here that Garrett will maybe use. Free city of Novigrad. Name actually used to mean something. The very reason so many mages came here after the massacre at Loch Muin. Thought they'd be safe from Radovid's reapers. Instead, they jumped out of the frying pan into the fire. Mm -hmm. But Novigrad stands on top of a mountain of coin. And winning a war takes three things. Coin, coin, and even more coin. That's why they're exterminating mages. Confiscating their property and possessions. And they'll go after non-humans next. The elves occupy slums, but the dwarves practically control financial life in the city. Official word is that Novigrad will remain neutral. Somehow doubt anyone believes that anymore. Hmm. I'm remembering now some books or something I read. No doubt you guys have corrected me in the comments. <laughs> that Novigrad was neutral. Okay, I, I feel like seeing Redanian soldiers outside of like the the bridge to get across to Novigrad, I felt like in my head that meant that Redania was controlling Novigrad, especially with the Eternal Fire being here and witch hunters and Radovid like being all anti-witch and anti-sorceress. So it's all confused my brain, but I'll get there eventually, I promise. <laughs> it may take the whole game, but I'll get there. <laughs> oh, there we go. Down, down by the quote river. I don't know if this is a river, but anyway, let's, let's put away our sword so we don't get arrested. Although I'd have to jump down here to arrest us, I suppose. Judging by what Klug said, the parcel should be around here on the bottom, unless the poor man was mistaken. He's been forgetful ever since Manga interrogated him. Seems to be suffering from a persecution complex, too. Current must have carried the sack seaward. I'll swim towards the port. Coming with? <laughs> no. Uh, maybe some other time. Yeah. <laughs> Don't know what you're missing. Water's thick with pungent oils. Guessing it'll do wonders for my complexion. <laughs> no, it won't. <laughs> Find the last parcel using your Witcher senses. Can I talk to Guess her yet? we don't have a choice. We have to get that parcel back. All right, well, let me run along the river. Do I have to get in it right now? Let's just do it. Okay, here is some parcels or some boxes at least relic oil and then oh there's something to investigate over here loot there we go leather sack got it anything else down here before i run out of breath i thought there might have been but ah wrong direction just looks like herbs. So let's go back to Triss. Oh gosh, it's so excited to be in a city. It's huge. It's ginormous. <laughs> All right, let's save and talk to Triss. Find the parcel? Or did you get wet for no reason? <laughs> Nothing like a refreshing swim in a filthy canal. <laughs> Found a few fish, a rusty anchor, the carcass of a boat. Oh, and this. Oh, my package. Hope the contents aren't soaked through. Oh, you're a doll. Seem to be in your element. Still remember my elements? How I use them? Come on, six months isn't that long. It's not like I'm senile. <laughs> but you do have a history of amnesia. I've recovered my memory completely. Good. That should stop people from taking advantage of you. Someone's been taking advantage of me. I have, for one. I've never even intimated. We need to hurry. You. Yes, you. I mean, you I guess. Water on the brain. But was it a malicious take advantage of Geralt? I'm not sure. But let's follow Tris and see what she has to say. But like the details, even like of her hands with the nails and how they look like perfectly manicured, which I would expect from a sorceress like her. Greetings, sorceress. Greetings, Brandon. I didn't expect you to bring company. <laughs> hmm, problem or you told him you're a sorceress. Let's see. Um, 
Well, let's not bring up the fact that she's a sorceress. <laughs> let's just say problem, question mark? Is that a problem? By the eternal fire, no. I'm surprised, that's all. Together, I expect you resolve things twice as fast. You've the look of true experts. But I'd prefer you not to tarry and begin. Triss, you and Brandon here. You've agreed a price. We settled on a full coin purse. Brandon and Co. is a serious outfit. We've the largest granary in all Novigrad. Hmm. Yeah, why don't we do half in advance, just in case? You're a merchant, familiar with how commerce works. Of course. Honest pay for honest work. Half up front, half once the job's done. You're asking a great deal. I'm a witcher. Gotta admit, I've met my share of people who say one thing beforehand, another after the fact. Mm -hmm. Very well. Your first installment. We need to place these crystals around the granary, near anything that looks rat-related. This is a very odd main quest. I don't know, I just... I don't know what I was expecting when I met Tristan. I'll cover half the space, you take the other half. Look for evidence of rat activity. Mm-hmm. Thing is, I know what evidence of manticore activity looks like, but rodents? Geralt, we'd both rather be somewhere else. I'd rather be sitting in a royal council meeting, but they killed my king. Look for crevices and droppings. Once we place this incense, what then? I'll cast a spell and the rats will leave. Can't do that without sprinkling incense? Don't really feel up to looking for rat shit. Stop whining. <laughs> I love how, I kind of love how Tris calls Geralt on his BS. It's like, oh, stop being such a big baby. You kill monsters for a living. They're just rats. Well, um, I think this is actually where I'm gonna end things for today. Uh, I, I'm not sure when I'll get a stopping point again in the future. So tomorrow we'll pick up here and place rat traps. We'll be a rat catcher, I guess, and, and go from there. So. So yeah, <laughs> but as always, thank you so very much for watching. Please do keep yourselves safe and I will see you again tomorrow with another new Witcher 3 video.